Alright boys, we're on the way to Willara, moist at Willara, to watch uh, Kane Corns go at it for the Willara Football Club, or the Moisted Football Club. We're not sure which one it is at the moment. Roger, how are you feeling? Well, we're about it, uh, another 200 kilometres away from arriving there, and that just happens to be the length of distance that Kane Corns runs every single morning. So, good to uh, get that drive out of the way in dedication of the great man. How do you reckon he's going to go, Rog? Like I said, this bloke is the hardest runner I think I've ever seen play the AFL. So I can't imagine he's going to win too many hard balls at Kano. I think if the ball's there to be one, he might let the other big balls get to work. But I reckon he's going to get plenty of outside ball and no one will be able to run with him. Plenty of strengths. I like it. Um, Baz, what do you reckon the conditions are going to be like out at Willara? It looks a little bit slippery. They have to account for the skid today. Have to account for the skid. What my question was, how many sessions Jack and Corns he's done to prepare himself for today. He runs marathons every single day and night. This That's a bit, a bit be... different though, Rog, a bit different. Yeah, I understand football's a different caper to just running <laughs> on a flat track all day, but I guarantee you, I'll tell you one thing, I don't even know who the opposition is, but they're not running 100Ks every day that much, I do know. Talk to me, Rogers. Kane Corns has been all over the headlines for quite possibly all the wrong reasons. It seems like everybody wants to pace with him, uh, just really against the man right now. Do you reckon he might sort of get his comeuppance this week <laughs> or uh, today? Or? Um, I, that, yeah, so on every program that he's on, whether it's SEN or Channel 9, there's always been a couple of jokes about his Carlton Draft debut about whether the opposition will get into him, whether the uh, supporters will get into him. He might get a little bit of off the ball treatment, but hopefully it is recognise that this is great for the league, great for the town, and great for footy in this area. I'm going to get into him. You're going to get into You're him? You're going to get into him? I'm making it a, a decision today to <laughs> give him a piece of my mind. Really? Well, there's no more polarising man in the AFL, but I love him. Yeah. You need the bad guys in footy. You know, I'm not saying he's a bad guy, but you need the ones you that... You need the um, villains. You need, like, Collingwood, you love to hate. Yeah. Kane Corns, I love to disagree with, and I'm curious to see if a few people maybe don't feel the same way and really want to let him know about it. What's funny about Kane is, you know, he'll say something and he'll stretch it to the nth degree where it is a bit, like his point gets stretched so far where it does sort of water down his point. But at the core of a lot of his discussion topics, he's correct. Like he comes from like an objectively true point. Cornsy has, it seems like he's starting to feel the pressure, like everyone's yeah. going at him and he's like going back at him, he doesn't take a backward step, I reckon today he wants to prove a point and I reckon, hey, don't worry about other people cleaning him up, I reckon he's going to let out yeah. a bit of his own frustration and everyone on there better be on lookout because Cornsy's going to run an absolute map today. How yeah, good's Missy Higgins? So good. Doesn't that sound familiar? Doesn't that hit too close to home? Doesn't that make you shiver? The way things should have gone. Doesn't that make you Kane Corns <laughs> lining up on the half forward flank? Not what I expected, McDonald. Oh, he's gonna kick some snags today, Roger. I can't wait to see it. But surely you want him on a wing, using his run, using the power through the legs. I don't know if we want him in and around the forward line. Actually, he's pushed up to the midfield now. I think he's playing the high half forward role. He is the high half forward. He did go for a tackle and not quite landed, but that's all right, still early days. Here we go. Here we go. We're on now. Call this free. Oh, it's chilly, Baz. It's just about to pelt down, so we're gonna go under the under the covers. What are we thinking on um, football food for the day? Footy food, I'm craving some chips. Yep. Oh, they've kicked their first one, the opposition. Uh, craving some chips, maybe some dimmies. Maybe another s Sanger. Roggy, what's, yes, gonna be, what's gonna be your feed? Mate, I'm still chockers from the uh, spinach from ricotta roll and the <laughs> salad sandwich I had at the bakery this morning, so. I suppose I'll only uh, have the chips, a sausage roll, a meat pie, and a chalky big head. Quarter time, Rog. Wet and slippery conditions. They've battled hard, and it's, uh, what is it, three to... What's the score? I don't, I don't know the score. They haven't been listening to the coach's game plan, because surely the operation was get it to Cornsy at all costs. He's had paddocks. No one can run with him. No one's even trying to tag him, and they can't find him. Just find the man. 
It was sunny when we rocked up, and then went Arctic conditions halfway through the first, and it's starting to chill now. It's starting to, it's starting to set, uh, settle a little bit. This is a man who's played 100 games, hundreds upon hundreds of games of AFL football, all Australians' best and fairest, and they quite simply are not looking for him. Find the man. He'll win you the game. Come on, Kano, four up, brother. Come on, Kano, big turn, big second turn. The only thing that can possibly warm up Moist and Mulara right now is if the volcano erupts. He's going forward again. The coach said, we need a lift out of the half forwards. Kane Corn was the half forward that turn. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a we need a bit more from you, Kane. Yeah, yeah. get... oh, of course you <laughs> bro. You in the gut? No, I was in back one. You'll be in the gut next week, mate. Do you want to keep jumping? Yeah. They're very excited. Yeah. <laughs> jump well, in, jump in. Not half as excited as us. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you guys. Have a great day. Get a okay, okay. Time, I'll do that. Okay, okay. I would love a beanie more than anything in the world right now, actually. <laughs> that would be sensational. Are you getting this? That's great. Yeah, straight on, mate. Straight on, mate. Chuck it on. Oh, how much better is that? Could you get any hotter? Well. <laughs> Five bucks, thanks, Jay. On the car, thank you. Literally, could you get Five bucks for the beanie and the draft. That's not a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> they do it yeah, different yeah. in Moist and Malara. <laughs> in Melbourne, you pay 15 bucks and just get the beer. Jay, we just need a little bit more out of Moist and Malara here. What they is this? One. They kicked one. Oh, the week ago. Oh, no, no that was the opposition, mate. I don't know what game you're watching, but uh, we are in struggle they town. The seven. Is, have they pulled seven on you? No. Seven of these. Mm. Seven sausage rolls. Seven snacks, mate. Yeah, that's not a sausage roll, actually. <laughs> no, no, I think that's... What's the scoreboard reading? It's 05 to 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, let's go! We've just had him we in a false... we got a here, Baz. We've had him in a false sense of security for the first half. Now we put the foot on the accelerator and put him to the sword. <laughs> on the boot! <laughs> Guys, mate, don't just hit the short. Hit the short, mate. I'm wide open. What are you going over me head for, Kate? There's a process, mate. You hit me, I hit them. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit flat and down here, Baz. Uh, not a lot has happened in this third term, I think. The big volcano was on the pine for a little bit there, mm -hmm. and uh, the Hawksdale Eagles are just taking the P1 double five right there. The Eagles are just absolutely piling on the pain to Moisten Melora. We just need, I'm not asking for a 12 goal comeback for the victory, I just need a little sign of life from Moisten to get us up and about. A goal. a goal, a goal, get it. That'll get us up and about. It could be. Here he is, here he is. Three quarter time and uh, the Moiston fellas are down, but not out, Rod. They're competing hard. No, I would say they're pretty much down. It's the 12, 13 goals difference, and we're just seeing no sign of loss. <laughs> Any time we get a bit of a rebound, 50, they're jogging down the field. Options are plenty. Turnover, turnover. It's like I'm watching Carl. Hawksdale have been impressive. This is going to be an emphatic victory, but the turnout's been great. The tuck has been unreal, and we've got one more quarter to soak up the atmosphere. One more quarter for Kane to leave a presence and let Moisa Malora know the Port Adelaide great has been here. Stamp your authority, Kano. We need you. Go the goal, Kano. Get the, you're gonna get it. Do you reckon he's got it in him? Has he got this in him? Mate, he kicks this every day. From outside 50. Kano has a free kick from 55. Um, and he's got the wind at his back. Unload the spiral. People are running around the back after for the handball. Surely he just, he's gone the barrel! Double the square, unselfish! Not quite. Did not get a hold of it, did the Kano. The last goal was the Kangaroos defeated a goal to give the lead back as a result of an interchange break. We gifted this one the goal from a goal line after a 50 metre penalty. Say so well, it again, say so it again. On the side. No, not on the side. Ripping afternoon down here, Baz. We're going to chat to Kano. I cannot wait. Um, oh, he battled hard all day, but he couldn't overturn 
the 19 goal defeat. Yeah, I don't even know if Prime Chris Judd could have won this game for Moist from Alora, so it was a little bit stiff, the KO, but I reckon the teachings he's given them will hold the club in good stead for the next few decades. Right, we're here with the main man, Kane Corns. Kane, how have you pulled up, mate? Pretty rough. My <laughs> calf is hanging on by a thread. Both of my groins <laughs> have seized up and my back is cooked. So apart from that, I'm, I'm going all right. You went on th- onto the pine for yes. about 15 minutes in the last quarter. Were you demanded to go back on? What was the go there? No, j- just uh, just rotations. Rotations. Yeah, just, just doing the know. team thing and, and being a part of the midfield rotation. Really selfless work. I was wondering, was there any yap from the opposition out there? What was the talk like? It was a little bit. Uh, a lot of old man and... <laughs> A lot of, gee, they're stiff, they got you. If they had Bernie Vince, he would have kicked eight. And then he said, you'd be lucky to have eight kicks. So there was a bit bit going on. And then it started to get a bit rough in the end. I mean, we were 20 goals down, so we we had to resort to the rough stuff. Well, you were the last pick in the Carlton draft. You weren't too happy about it. Mm. Do you think your performance justified that maybe you should have been a little bit higher in the draft? Mm. Or do you think maybe last was adequate? I think last was adequate (laughs) from what we saw today. That's the last game of footy I'll ever play. <laughs> Retired, officially. <laughs> All jokes aside, um, how amazing is the turnout and how good is this for the community? It was amazing. Like, from the minute I walked in, like, just the, the crowd here, the lady that works in the canteen came up and said, so thankful to have you here. One guy makes homemade tomato sauce. Oh, he gives so me a good. bottle of tomato sauce and then someone offers me a rub down and it's just amazing. <laughs> like, that, that community feel. And then what I loved was the kids that had played netball and junior footy at the start of the day in the morning are still here and hanging around and wanting autographs are still out on the Oval as we speak now. So that full day community Mm. atmosphere is something that I've missed. Well, what an honour to be here for your last ever game of football, your official retirement. Well done on a sensational career. What better way to cap it off? Oh, exactly. I'm honoured that you guys made the trip. Yeah, I'm just sorry I let you down. (laughs) Great, great. Great work.